This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. In many different ways, I think touch is a wonderful thing to have. It's a kind of power. A fellow on the internet celebrating the passing of Chick Corea said, Chick had great touch. He never lost that touch. Listen to him here two years ago. Beautiful. We are told that the Trumpet's lawyers are going to defend him using freedom of speech. As far as I know, that's not very far, freedom of speech is protected up to shouting fire in a crowded building causing bodily harm. The dummy craps are saying that's exactly what he did and they have five bodies to prove it. So I think they better come up with something more persuasive than that, his defenders. I have an idea or a theory or a working model or an hypothesis. Okay, I honestly don't know what it is, but here it is anyway. Why don't we go all out, full bore batshit coronavirus crazy, and blame every bad thing in the world not on China, but on the trumpet. Let's go. Pile on. It works for several reasons. In the first place, it's not really such a stretch. And it could explain a lot. And also, we know the trumpet can take it. Not only that, he likes being the bad boy. So we make him the very bad boy. And what a target he is, from the vain and swaggering private man to the public bully, he makes a virtual piñata stuffed with wickedness. So swing away. There are limits to this. We have to keep it in context. So let's agree to blame him for everything that's gone wrong. Oh. What do you say to the mid-1970s? The 60s, I think we leave them alone. They were crazy before crazy came to town. But sometime in the 70s, the trumpet began to work his villainy. Until now, now look what he's done. He's ruined everything. We shouldn't be impeaching him. We should give him a pair of cement shoes and throw him in the ocean. That would get rid of him and give us all a fresh start. Maybe some good stuff would finally come along. By the way, I know this is a fantasy, but I'm enjoying it. So there. As I've said previously, there are city council members where I live who have been charged with accepting money that influenced the way they voted, especially on the letting out of contracts. I mention that because I am currently wondering how corrupt the federal representatives and senators are. Same deal, the numbers are just bigger, right? No matter how they begin, all of them come out rich. Where did that money come from? They earn so much every year, whatever it is, and they spend tens of millions of dollars and more every time they run for election. That practice itself screams corruption, influence peddling, bribery, malfeasance in office, which is redundancy, and, and when you have, in addition to powerful nations, giant global corporations, it would be very easy to accept tremendous sums for a yay or a nay. And then to say, you know, I was going to vote that way anyway. And the beauty of it is, for them, it isn't a crime. It's the way the system operates. Politics is the art, not of compromise, but of everyone making out. Win, 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 win. Everyone except the people. Because we're not players. We don't factor in.
were not in the game. The trumpet was not a politician. He was for the people and America. And I think that's why they're carving him up right now. First, it's because they can. He practically helped them to it. But also, because they want to eliminate his policies and make sure no one dares to go that way again. Period. So, et tu, turtle? You bet. People say that this situation is something out of George Orwell. But it doesn't strike me like that. It isn't that polished or ominous. America is being conquered. It, I'm sorry, America isn't being conquered. It's just stepping on its own dick. The government is not Big Brother. It isn't your crazy Aunt Sally either. Yet it is in the family. We are doing this to ourselves. Maybe sh I should accept the reality and say that the true face of it is old Uncle Joe, who never understood anything and realized that he didn't have to understand anything. In fact, it was better the less he knew, but was proud to fly the colors and happy to accept any invitation out to dinner or a little gratuity on the side. Instead of Big Brother, we got the PM, good old Uncle Joe. That's Googe.